tragedy has happened. That was a Lego. Um, <laughs> so, so I was just chilling, you know, I was just chilling and everything, and, uh, you know, I get this notification for a comment, you know, if you, somebody commented on, on one of my, uh, uh, you know, Elements of Justice, Justice Reaction videos, so I read the comment, I'm just like, <laughs> you spoiled me. You, you spoiled part of the plot. What the frick? <laughs> Thankfully, it was only for this episode, and I, it's not like, it is a, it's a big shocker thing, but it's like, it's not like, like a, whoa, that's like a really, like, that's like an answer I've been waiting for since, like, the beginning of the series type of answer. So I'm glad it wasn't, like, a big spoiler, but it was still a freaking big spoiler, and I'm so mad about it, I'm so freaking you already know we gotta watch this banger of an intro. That transition is so freaking smooth. February 14th, 12.30pm. Twilight's Castle. Throne Room. Hey, everypony! Hey, it's Spike. The trial go? It went horribly, no. Spike. Hey, Spike. <laughs> well... Um, no, we actually, run. we lost, That's and everybody news. died. So, Scootaloo and Turning Page are off the hook? Well, yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, absolutely. So, why the long face? Where do I even begin? Spike, you don't oh, even, Spike. your NPC brain could not it's handle awful, it. awful, I tell you. <laughs> oh. uh, huh? Rarity? What happened? Choose dialogue oh. option A or B. Wait, what? You're not saying- Oh, yeah, I mean. Scootaloo and Turning were proven innocent, but the Goofy, evidence Goofy, now impedes Goofy, Goofy, Ice Cream and Parlor song. Named Sugar Stamp instead. Huh? Miss Stamp By the way, the spoiler has to do with Sugar Stamp. It has to do with Sugar Stamp. And Sweetie Bell? <clears throat> I'm not gonna say serious? what it is. We are, Spike! It was horrible! We couldn't do a single thing except watch him drag her away! Shoot, man. Shoot dang. Shoot Aren't dang. right for not believing in Scootaloo? Damn! Damn! Damn, oh, Rainbow! Rainbow. Ah. Yeah, Rainbow, what do you mean by that? Choose options, I do exactly what I said! Sweetie Belle just begged ah. Scootaloo the entire time! And not only that, she kept quiet about everything that happened that night! Rainbow Dash! In case you've forgotten, Sweetie Belle herself said she didn't suspect Scootaloo! She just didn't want to risk interfering with the investigation! Uh -huh. Did you buy that? Why else would she be acting so shady? Perhaps she was scared! Because a certain Pegasus kept harassing her from the very beginning! Well, maybe if she wasn't so obviously lying... Yeah, she was, she was kind of obviously lying. About it. And look where it got her! Arrested for murder! You're suggesting that she's somehow actually responsible? It I mean, would a whole lot, wouldn't it? girls. I'm not gonna even lie. Like, I'm kind of suspicious of uh, Sweetie Belle. Also, I swear to God, if somebody, if somebody in the comments types the word, types the word sus. I... Things will be said. Enough. This ain't getting us anywhere. We need to- How dare you insinuate my little sister would ever kill any pony! She's just a child! A murderous child. Does it matter who you are? When you get arrested for murder, every pony thinks you did it! No matter what! And because Rainbow. of that, this justifies presuming she's guilty? Rainbow would know. Rarity, please. You gotta calm down. No. Calm down? Calm down? We will I'm never calm down. Dude, I have to say, I have to say, when somebody tells you to calm down, it it never works. Like it never works. Like they are in the heat of the moment, and in in they're super freaking mad, and you're just like, calm down, bro. No. <laughs> like it just never works. Like especially with me, oh, I, it no. just never works. Was awful 
Bloom whom she was accusing? You'd feel the same way! <sighs> don't tell me you wouldn't! Don't tell me you don't care in the slightest! That's not... <sighs> Land's sake. sakes, Rarity, I do care, but... But she knows as well as anybody else that Sweetie Belle is lying! I mean, now, she's lying about you something. Words in my mouth, Rainbow Dash. All I'm saying is... Oh, Rainbow Dash, I am truly appalled! Oh, wow, appalled? Oh, That's I a word I would use. Don't understand the most! Understand what? What it feels like to be suspected of a crime you didn't commit! To have no pony believe in you! To have every pony turn their backs and not give the matter a second thought! Dude, is it bad? You suspected of murder once? Rarity! Is it that's bad that I enough. think Sweetie Belle actually that's did it? Different. <laughs> I think that's bad. Really, Rainbow Dash? Or are you just saying that because it helps you avoid having a guilty conscience? Stop it! Oh, poor Apple Bloom. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Go back. Wait, wait. I want to see Phoenix's face. You avoid having a guilty conscience. Uh, yeah, ra yeah, Rarity. Shush, shush. Look <laughs> at Phoenix. Phoenix is like is like trying to keep a straight face. He he's like no he's like in his mind he's like huh, I knew Apple Bloom was gonna say something. I knew it. Let's go. <laughs> and he's trying not to pop off. And he's just he's just trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> oh my god. Apple Bloom. None of this matters. Okay. It don't matter if Sweetie Bill did or didn't suspect Scootaloo. What matters is figuring out how we're gonna get her out of this mess! Rainbow Dash, I get it! I'm hurt by what Sweetie Belle did! I'm not. And I'm mad that she didn't want to help out with school I get I'm it! I'm not. But I also know that Sweetie Belle is innocent! She's as innocent as you, me, Scoot, and Turnin' Page. She didn't do anything wrong. Clap it up for Apple Bloom. Clap it up, for Apple Just abandon her, like how others abandoned you, Rainbow, or how they abandoned Scootaloo. Apple Boom being more mature than everybody, including me. And Rarity, I know you're mighty upset too. I sure would be if Applejack was hauled off. But blaming Rainbow ain't gonna help Sweetie Belle neither. Pointing hooves and trying to say who's to blame isn't gonna get us anywhere. All it's gonna do is make us even more upset and put Sweetie Belle in even more danger. Apple Bloom, and I'm scared too. I'm scared. I'm angry. I'm upset. But I gotta be better than that. I gotta get past myself and do something about this. Wow. We all gotta be better than that too, for her sake. Wow. Dude, great job, Apple Bloom. Wow. Right. I know every pony is upset, but we need to focus on the case at Hoof. Arguing like this is going to get us nowhere. Agreed. If there's anyone to blame for her <clears throat> arrest, it's me. I suggested that the blood behind the statue belong to the true killer after all. I just never yeah, expected like... the blood to be from Sweetie Belle. That is kind of the blame weird. on yourself, Athena. I took part in this as well. Neither What'd you do? You did anything wrong. I all you did was point out what the evidence said. It just so happens that one of our friends got caught in the crossfire. So, what should we do then? Latte? Do you even need to ask? You already know the answer to that, don't you? Yeah, Trucy. You're right. It's a latte. I do. Hey, Rarity? <laughs> got any latte? I took on Skidaloo and Turning's case, and I was able to save them. It only makes sense that I should do the same thing for your sister. So, so you're saying? If it's all right with you. I'd like to defend Sweetie Belle. Cool. Rarity? Ra None of us want to see a friend accused oh. of a crime they didn't commit. So I promise we'll also make sure that Sweetie Belle gets the acquittal she deserves. Exactly. Let's Twilight do this. My side, and Athena Twilight! We will prove her innocence together. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Please bow, bring bow, my sister bow. back to me! We won't I let dropped you down, my Lego. Rarity. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Stop speaking in sync. That's, that's you're Actually, scaring me. Um, Twilight. I'm 
sorry, but I'm still a little confused about this case. I mean, what do we even know for sure? Well, we know that clones- Oh, by the way. Oh, I just remembered. So Nada is going to be in this in this episode. Like, probably have a prominent role because she was in the thumbnail in- mm. I'm excited to get more dialogue from her. Clones were involved. Clones? <clears throat> Are you serious? Yeah, but that's absolutely crazy. Does that mean we have two victims we're dealing with? Why, yes. I was wondering the same thing. Two royal orders. You're right. This is crazy. It's wacka like a it's ding dong. It's hard to believe, even if all the evidence points to it being true. Hmm. Maybe it'll help if we go over royal orders movements that night? Everything that we know, and need to know, center around figuring out what he did and where he did them. That's a good idea, Twilight. But where would we start? Ah, uh, yeah. We know that that was when he learned what Turning Page was doing from Fair Devotion. Right. And afterwards, he teleported to Froggy Bottom Bog. We know that because it's currently. This is very interesting and all, but I'm gonna, uh, you know, go go get some water. <clears throat> Oh no. I, I I realized I don't have much water left. Oh no. <laughs> um well I'm about to drink all my water. <clears throat> and that's the last of the water. Oh welp. Oh no. In the only place where potent enough poison joke can be found. But why would he teleport to Froggy Bottom Bog <clears throat> in the first place? The Maybe poison it was because joke. he thought Turney might be there. It was somewhere the two visited often. When he couldn't find a son of the that. bog, he then visited the mirror pool. But how could he have known where it was? On top yeah. of that, why would the mirror pool be his next instinct? Yeah. Why not immediately huh. try to head off to find Turning huh. Page somewhere else? Honestly, I don't know why either. Wait, wait, maybe, maybe, maybe wait, well, maybe, like, he, he wanted to, like, split up, get more eyes, you know, you know, divide and conquer. Theory <clears throat> explains why Royal was away. It doesn't explain how he knew about it. Regardless, he made a clone, and the two of them split up, perhaps to cover more ground. One of them oh, had yeah, yeah, that's and the other to the statue. And we know what happened on the way there. You mean, when Scootaloo crashed into something on the crossroads? Because she was distracted by the Timberwolves? But what about the oh, blood on the Nightmare right. Night statue? Those things. <sighs> exactly. We managed to establish that that was one of the Royal Order clones. The crash resulted in the scooter breaking, and the left handlebar stabbing Royal Order's head. It must have been too much for Scootaloo at that point. And that's why she fled. Thinking you'd stab someone, it would be too much for anyone, let alone a little kid. I know, right? Does that mean Scootaloo? Know that royal order? No, 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 the Timberwolves in the area then ate the body and okay. lapped up all the blood afterwards. What about well, Sweetie not Belle, though? Quite all <clears throat> of it. There was blood behind the statue, which belonged to Sweetie Belle, mixed with royal orders in front of the statue. Which is so that's weird. Why she's been arrested? Oh, Sweetie Belle, what an equestrial were you doing there? She just what, taking a nice stroll. What about the other royal order, the one that went to the clearing? Well, we determined that it was at the clearing where that royal order died, not at the castle. <clears throat> but because his body was found at the castle by Zakora, Diamond Tiara, and Silver Spoon, along with the wagon, silk, capes, and scooter, the police arrested Scootily for murder. Wait, but how did the scooter get back to, um, the thingy? You know, the but thingy. It doesn't make any sense. Scootaloo left those things at the crossroads after she crashed. How did they make it back to the scene? <clears throat> and how the body get there as well? 
That's where we believe Sugar Stamp was involved. Oh. Uh, print on the bottom of the wagon matches uh, the uh, We think she transported the items from the crossroads. And the body that died at the clearing by flying all of them over the forest to the castle. But, but, but why? Why would she this do one, that? That's what I'm just saying. Because she's the killer? We can't say that for certain just <clears throat> yet. Regardless, that should be everything we know so far. That's a nice <sighs> little way to put that. Wow. This case is it's not so complex. That complex. How can you keep track of everything that's happened? It's called being I think smart, we'll Spike. Leave that to Widget. Oh God, not Widget. Headache. We're still left in the dark about a lot of things, sadly. Yeah, I know, right? So where do we go from That's here? That's how we feel all the time. What we should do first is go to Sweetie Bell. She's probably at the detention center by now. Scootaloo and Turning Page might be there too, so we should talk to them as well. Maybe we could even speak to Zakora if she's there. We'll also need to talk to Diamond and Silver, since they were behind the blackmailing. They might know something that could help us out. Although, I'm not sure if they'd be willing to cooperate, considering what we put them through today. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, I just had a thought. It's not a good thought, or like an insightful thought, but like I'm thinking, what if I just like went to like go grab a drink or something? No, 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 like, I'm not talking about alcohol. You stop it right now. But what if I just, like, left to go get water? You know, like I usually do. <clears throat> but I forget to, like, pause the recording. And, like, you just have, like, five minutes of just nothing. <laughs> and I come back with the water. And I'm just like, oh, oh. <laughs> So that's a thought. What else? There's also the Everfree Forest. Now that we know that the clearing and crossroads were involved, we'll need to investigate them <clears> thoroughly. <throat> Looks like we got our game plan. Let's first head out to the detention center. Boss, you coming? You better with be us? coming with us. Of course. Of course. I should come too. Sweetie Bell needs me. That's I true. You would. And Rainbow. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. She still doesn't look happy. Come on. Come on. Come on. To be together, Rainbow needs to come too. You probably want to join us, right? To check up on Scootaloo? Yeah. See, that's how you do it. That, 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 mm, that's so you? smart. I appreciate the offer, Twy, but there's still some work to do at the farm. And I reckon it's time I took Apple Bloom back too, before some pony else causes trouble. Nah, Apple Bloom's gonna come. Uh, I mean, sorry, girls. I didn't mean to sound insensitive. It's all right, Applejack. I understood what you meant. Apple Blue should come. I have a feeling it's going to be a while before those three patch things up. Trouble? Me? You know what I meant, Sugar Cube. Now come on. No, 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 Oh, yeah, wow. Trucy, yeah. I'm just so bored just staying in the castle while you guys are going off all over Ponyville. I want to help! Trucy, I also want to not this. help. I think you should just... Please, Daddy. I really want to go. <laughs> Let her go. Come on. Right. I can't say no to that. Come on! Just behave yourself. <clears throat> Come on! I take it you're going to stay here again, Apollo? Not a chance, Athena. I'm coming with you this time around, for my own safety yes. if nothing else. Go and for besides, it. you never know. Maybe having an extra lawyer on this case will yield us some helpful results. Yeah. Uh, oh, sounds good then. Even though being in this world clearly troubles you, you're still just as willing to lend a hand. I shouldn't have expected anything less. Thanks, Apollo. Salute to you, Apollo. Note, I think that's everyone. Marco. I'll make for a somewhat crowded detention Apollo. center, but that can't be helped. Gotcha, boss. You ready, Twilight? Let's Just do this. Spike, you the don't NPC? Mind. I'll be right here when you need me, Twy. Don't you worry. Now go off and say Sweetie Bell. <laughs> do our best, Spike. Okay, everyone. Let's When's Spike gonna get his time to shine? Spike has just been in the castle. Just chilling. Doing nothing. This whole entire series. When is Spike gonna get his time? 
man. <laughs> I hate to say it, but Spike really is just an NPC. <laughs> Let's get going. February 14th, 12.57 p.m. Ponyville Detention Center. Hmm? Oh, it's you guys again. Are you Ashtray? Uh, yeah. We're here to see Sweetie Belle. Is she here? She's oh yeah, by the way, Bonds of Justice, uh, number three guards, um, they were calling, I think, this dude Ashtray? Um, Currently I think he's Ashtray. Right now. You'll have to come back later. Jeez. Talk about a stick in the mud. This guy never lets up, does he? I feel like your what name is Ashtray. returning page? Are they still here? Miss Fair Devotion stopped by a moment ago to pick them up, Your Highness. Pick up? Aww. You mean Scoots is at turning in Fair's house right now? I don't know where else she'd be. That's Whoa. all I needed to hear. Oops. Wait, Rainbow! Bye, Rainbow. Let it go, Twilight. I kind of expected that to happen. <sighs> Fine. I have some more questions to ask anyway. <sighs> Such as? Can you tell us what happened to Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon? Oh yeah, what happened they to those little buggers? They were a little while, then they were later released with no charges filed against them. Okay, Their cool. parents came and picked them up not too long ago. Alright, that's no fine, that's charges, fine. Huh? That's fine. No prizes for guessing why that is. I guess that means we better go talk to them later then. There's another thing I'd like to know. Where's the Korra? Yeah, where is the Korra? Where is she? Soon after the trial was over, and was seen heading back to the Everfree Forest. That's also back home, I pretty suppose. cool. Yeah. After what you put her through, that zebra deserves a lot more than that. Hey, 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 Ashy, my, my Ashy, chill the freak out, man. Jeez. That's for sure. I'm well aware of that. That was a Anything long else? dot dot dot. Just one more thing, actually. Is Private Eye still in Canterlot? Correct. He and his team are currently tracking down Miss Sugarstamp. And when will he be back? Whenever they find her, I should think. Whenever they will find her, you see me. Thanks. At this point, I don't know why I expected anything from this guy. In any case, Miss Sweetie Belle will not be released from questioning for some time. If you have any further questions, ask them now. Otherwise, I have to get back to my shift. I already have a long enough day. Oh, that's kind of long enough day, right. I mean. No, I think that's everything. Thank you for your help. No, not thank you. No thanking this guy. Well, oh, she just phased our next out of, of existence. We should go to Fair Devotion's house, since that's where Scooby <coughs> and Turning Page are. Rainbow Dash has more than likely made it to them knowing her. Yeah. We should do just that. Let's go, everyone. Vamos! Wait a moment. What What's is up, Rarity? I... I'm going to stay here. Okay. I want to stay. So Bye, I'll Rarity. So be able to see Sweetie Belle as soon as she gets out. But Bye, Rarity. don't you need an attorney to even be able to set foot in here? Well, yes. Bye, Rarity. But... You guys get going. I'll stay here with Rarity. Oh, uh, bye, Apollo. You, you will, bye, Apollo. Really? I said so, didn't I? What's the matter? Bye, Apollo. I think she's just surprised that you're being so casual about hanging around anywhere but the castle, I guess. Hey, come on. I don't hate everything about this world, you know? And besides, um... I'd like to help out Rarity. Even if it's just a bit of legal advice, I'll do what I can. Okay, then. I do appreciate it, darling. Bye, but Apollo. It has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that she's letting you use her hair products while we're here. Not at all. It's not like that. What? I mean, like I said, hit. I don't hate everything here. Rarity, for instance. She's... what's the word? There, There's a joke. I could bake here, but I'm not sure if I want to make it. Oh, what the heck. It's Xanthar. We're fine. She takes herself seriously. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Oh my. You certainly are a charming young man, <clears throat> aren't you? R right. All right. We got the hots Sounds for good, Apollo. Apollo. We'll meet up with you later at the Everfree Forest then. Right. Good luck, you guys. I'll see you there. Bye, Apollo. <laughs> Ooh, new location. Ooh, this is a little spiffy house. Kind of like this house. Kind of looks nice. That's odd. 
Why was the door left unlocked? Do you think Miss Devotion forgot about it? I'm not sure. Maybe Rainbow Dash forgot to lock it after she arrived. Though I don't see her around. Oh! Princess Twilight. Oh, hello there, Miss murderer. Sykes. I suppose I should have expected you. Though, not all of you. She seems out of it. Interesting. Not quite tired. Well, yeah. Melancholy? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah she would be. Happened, I would be too. Good afternoon, yeah, that's, Miss that's Devotion. Fair. Sorry to barge in unannounced like this. It's all right, Princess Twilight. But what are you doing here? The trial's over. We've it come is, to yes. arrest you. But Get on your knee. No, I'm kidding. Check on Scootaloo and Turning Page. You know, see how they're doing? Yeah, I where see. are they? That's rather considerate of you, Miss Sykes. Uh, considerate's my so, name. may we see them? Considerate's my name. I suppose so. Follow me. They're right over here. Yes! Oh, hey! Scootaloo! Nice how was, uh, the detention center? Oh, it was Not great. a great deal of help, really. Sweetie Belle's being questioned and probably will be for a little while. That blows. And, uh... What about Rarity? Well, let's just say she we said to goodbye to Rarity. Apollo for when Sweetie Belle is released. Right, right. How are you doing, Scootaloo? I else is doing just fine. Isn't that right, Squirt? Yes, yeah, Squirt. Let Scootaloo speak, Rainbow. Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm okay, I guess. I'm just really tired. Hey, can we sleep, tired? please? Yeah. Can I we mean, all just sleep? Before, I was super excited and happy, <clears throat> but now that the trial's over, it all just kind of hit me at once. How intense it was, I mean. All you yeah. need is a little rest, that's all. Dude, and let them sleep. I, I honestly want them to sleep so badly. I just hope turning's okay. Miss Sykes, Princess Twilight. How you doing, Every Paige? Pony, what are you doing here? Hi, Turning Page. We wanted to check up on you and Scootaloo. How are you holding up? I... I guess I'm okay. I'm relieved the trial's over, that's for sure. As am I. And I suppose I have you three to thank. Huh? Us three? But it was only Twilight and me. Yes, and I am grateful- Did you forget about Invisible Jerry? <laughs> ...for your efforts in defending Turning Page and Scootaloo. But I must also thank Princess Luna. Gotta thank Princess Why Luna. Why would you thank her? She tried to pin the blackmailing on you. No, no, no. She was Aren't helping you. The least you. Bit mad about that? On the contrary, I was well aware that Princess Luna planned to accuse me from the very beginning. Wow. What? what? You were in cahoots. Yes. Princess Luna actually proposed the idea to me before the trial began. And you went wow. along with it? Dude, Luna's crazy. Knowing that you crazy. could have been charged for a crime you didn't even commit? Of course, Princess Twilight. How could I refuse? The lives of my son and his friend were on the line. I would have done anything to prove their innocence. Damn. Anything. Kind of, I kind of like her. it worked out in it's the end, nice. as I hoped it would. Thanks to Princess Luna accusing me, you two were able to expose the truth and get Turning and Scootaloo's acquittal. Talk about self-sacrifice. Maybe this is where she's really cool. From, now that I think about it. Hang on a second. Does that mean Luna was aware that the magazines might have been planted in your house? The possibility had crossed her mind, yes, but she had no way of proving it. She decided instead to work with how the evidence was discovered and hoped that the defense would be able to provide an alternative theory. Which led to us learning that Diamond Tiara had planted the magazines here. Exactly. All this intricacy. It's almost as if Luna knows everything about the case. It makes me wonder why she even bothered prosecuting Turning and Scootaloo in the first place. Well, not everything, remember? She didn't know about the clone until we were able to prove it existed. And she didn't know who the blood behind the statue belonged to either. Not until Sonata and Private Eye revealed it to her after I thought that said Santa for a second. But even so, if she was so dead set Not until Santa. Scootaloo and Turning Page Innocent, why didn't she at least let us in on the plan? She told Miss Devotion, she told Scootaloo and Turning. Heck, Sakura and Private Eye may have been in on it as well. Everyone seemed to know what was going to happen during the trial, except for us. Doesn't that seem a bit counterproductive? 
you hey it makes for good entertainment point. she even went to great lengths to ensure that we didn't know she was the prosecutor her actions do seem rather contradictory in that regard princess luna what drove you to be so secretive towards us celestia maybe you know what i'm saying celestia, maybe. we're all on the same side here aren't we <laughs> that reminds me has princess luna expressed any knowledge about whoever sent that anonymous tip not that Trip. i know of and we don't have a clear idea of who might have sent it either i dropped my water ball is unfortunate why do you ask? Uh, oh, uh, no oh, I missed reason, it. really. Just <clears throat> if it hadn't been for that tip, turning page wouldn't have been involved, and Princess Luna wouldn't have had to resort to accusing me. We do plan on asking Private Eye later to see if he knows anything about it. Then I do hope you are able to discover its sender. Um, Athena, Twilight. Yes, Scootaloo? I'm Elmo's world. really worried about Sweetie Belle. You said that you weren't able to talk to her at the detention center? That's right. No, we weren't. But as we said, Rarity's there, along with Apollo. So she won't be alone. Don't worry. Well, if you are able to talk to her later, are you going to ask if she'd let you defend her? We may got to defend her. Permission, but we do plan on offering Sweetie Belle directly. Yes. That's good to hear. Good to hear, good to hear, good to hear. What's wrong, Scootaloo? I... I don't know. It's just... This case, royal order, Sweetie Belle, everything... I'm just scared, I think. I don't know what's going to happen next. And what I did to royal order... Well, one of them, anyway. How I accidentally stabbed him with my... Scooter. It's fine. And He's fine. Bell, he she, was fine. He might have done something similar. Something that she doesn't even fully remember. Having to recall something unpleasant you did is, admittedly, never a great feeling. But it's through these recollections that the truth is- I wonder if I've ever done something, like, really bad that, like, I've just erased from my memory entirely. Just, like, just imagine that- you're like sitting down at your desk and then all of a sudden you get like this really tragic memory it just hits you like a brick and you're just like oh dang man oh shoot i forgot to flush the toilet dang it man <laughs> eventually uncovered scootaloo just like with you today and no matter what might have happened it's better to be aware of it than live in ignorance. I can't say for certain what Sweetie Belle did or didn't do with the statue that night, but whatever it was, we'll find out. I'm sure it'll show us that she didn't kill anyone. That's right! Chin up, kid. I'm sure Sweetie Belle will be just fine. Athena and Twilight will clear her name just like they did with you and Turning Page. Really? That's not what you said earlier at the castle. Haha. <laughs> uh, uh, well, you know. It's just <laughs> What Apple Blue yeah, said. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just know what Apple Blue said. What's, what's it's, it's nothing, Squirt. About? It's nothing. It's nothing. What did nothing. You say no, 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 no. I didn't it's, say anything. Well, look. Sweetie Belle wasn't exactly being all that helpful when you were arrested, remember? I'm still a little miffed about that. Miffed. That's a word. Can't sweep that all under the rug, Rainbow. Miffed. Sometime soon. I'm going to start using that word. You're really feeling. Not just for Scootaloo's sake, but yours as well. Miffed. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty miffed right now. I understand. <laughs> I, I guess I'm so bothered by that too. <clears throat> but it doesn't make me any less worried, though. Miffed. Do our best, Scootaloo. You have my word. Thank you, Athena. So what Turning said is true. Huh? What do you mean, Miss Devotion? When I came to pick him and Scootaloo up, he told me that Sweetie Belle was arrested. Well, of course. Yeah. It was proven Why would that she lie about that? that night. But, but she wasn't involved in Royal Order's death. It's just a coincidence or something. A coincidence. Could that be it, I wonder. <laughs> uh, well, what did you just say? Uh, hey, Miss Devotion, I know this is a difficult time for you, but would it be at all possible for us to ask you a few questions about your husband? It might help us clear Sweetie Belle's name. <sighs> 
I suppose so. What would you like to know? We learned during the trial that for the past month, Royal Order's been away in Candrelot. He was apparently even offered vacations, but turned them down. Any idea why he's been away for so long? It's hmm. more of a recent development, if I'm being honest. My husband's job has kept him busier than usual lately. He used to come home to us whenever he had the chance. He looked forward to it, he told me. Did he ever talk to you about it, or say anything about why he'd been spending so much time away? Well, no, Whoa. not really. He kept his that reasons me. to himself. Y yeah, there's no doubt about it. She's hiding something. We love hiding it things. Seems like he may know the reason, but as long as Fair is here, we're not going to get it out of him. Because he spent so much time away, Canterlot had almost become like a second home to him. He had a travel case prepared for every time he had to go. Hmm. A travel case? You know, you know, tra you know, travel it? case? I'm afraid not. It was seized by the police Damn it. yesterday. Damn it. According to that gentle cult you're investigator, kinda fat, it was important kinda evidence. Dumb. No, you I'm not. Eye? Yes, you uh, are. Yes, I believe that was his name. You'll have to ask him about it. We'll make sure to do that. That was weird. Miss Devotion acted like she couldn't remember his name. But I didn't detect any hint of sudden recognition when Twilight mentioned it. Hey, Daddy! Yeah, Trucy? You know what today's <laughs> date is! What, your birthday? Uh, Wait, date? February 4th? Well, it's Valentine's Day? February 14th. Why? Valentine's Day? Of all the places for Mr. Wright to start, it's not gonna be here, Trucy. I know what you're thinking, Athena! But it's Whoa. not about that! I just noticed something! And wanted to know if I was right! Uh, sorry. Okay. Um, what was it you noticed? Can you read calendar mine? hanging on the wall. See? There's a date circled in red here. Today's dinner. Date. Did you? D dinner. Doing something with your husband today, Miss Devotion? I mean, it is Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day. Hey, would you, you look at that? Hearts and Hooves Day. Hearts and... Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Hearts day? and Hooves Day. Yes. It's a holiday where you give special attention to ponies you appreciate, or your special sun pony. Damn. Specials. Wish I had a special. <laughs> <clears throat> Moving on. <laughs> it's basically a term that you'd use to refer to some pony you're dating, or in a relationship with. On Hearts and Hooves Day, you'd see a lot of couples giving gifts to their partners. So. It's exactly like Valentine's Day. Exactly. In regards to your question, yes. I did have plans for today. Royal and I were Aww. going to go to a fancy restaurant for dinner. But Aww. I had to cancel it after that whole incident with Spoiled Rich. Spoiled was Rich? Was that why no one was home when I came to get turning to a night ago? Yes, I was out at the time, canceling my dinner reservations. I had hoped to reschedule it for a later date, but obviously, that doesn't matter anymore. That really sucks. How dare that mare demand anything from us? After what her daughter did, I ought to- Turning page. That is quite enough of your outbursts. Who? Who is he talking Mom, about? Surely you can see that it wasn't right. Yes, and it also wasn't right to attack those fillies oh. either. Need I remind you of what it led to? You're right. It, it is kind of my fault, isn't it? I mean, you had to cancel your dinner plans, and then Father... He... I am so sorry, Miss Devotion. I didn't mean to drag up sad memories. <sighs> it's... all right. We'll, we'll manage. manage this factory. We'll find a way. We always have. But what about Miss Damp? I feel bad about that, too. I don't. Why is that? Turning? <clears throat> well, because she and my mom were childhood oh. friends. She's probably the closest pony. Oh! Ever. Really? Is that true, Miss Devotion? Y yes, it is. Okay. We... That's we're vital close. information. Huh? Seriously? She's hesitant to even say that. What gets? She says In we're, any case, we're close. I think we should let these kids rest. They've had a long day. Thank you for coming to check they up on really us. They really should rest. I do think you had better get going. 
I wouldn't want to impede your investigation any further. Rainbow Dash, I'm about to why don't you, you take Scootaloo home? Uh, sure, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. We'll actually head back to the castle. If you guys need us, that's where we'll be. You ready, Squirt? You're ready, Just Squirt. One more thing. Twilight? Athena? That's her yes, names, Lula? don't wear it out. What is it? Just, please. Regardless of how hurt I feel, please find a way to help Sweetie Belle. We'll try, Scootaloo. Until the very end. Hey, it's a door sound effect. I can do that. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, it's February 14th, 1.25 p.m. at Ponyville Square. Well, yeah. That was abrupt. <sighs> and we aren't much closer to the truth either. By the way, did anyone else get the feeling that Miss Devotion's hiding something? All the time. No, All the time. Definitely. But what could it be? And why? If it could help us figure out what really happened to Royal Order, I don't know why she would keep it to herself. Unless... Are you thinking that she might be involved in his death? I... Uh, don't know. She might just be trying to protect someone. Whatever Me. the case, yeah. I don't think Fair Devotion's about to tell us what she knows. At least... Not at the moment. I guess that's true. Where to next then, Twilight? I think to the invisible jet. Visit Diamond Tiara's house. I can't say I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> Amen. But yeah, let's get going. Amen, sister. Amen. Oh whoa. The big teddy bear. Wait, February 14, 1:40 p.m. Diamond Tiara's house. Diamond Tiara's room. Is that shining armor? Hey, is that a shining ar armor plush? Here. Nice to see you too. Ah, you see, your we broke in through your, in, your window. Actually. We were hoping to. Miss Sykes. Silver spoon. And I guess these must be your friends. Yes, this is Phoenix Wright and his daughter Trucy. Trucy Ducey. Oh boy. Hi, <laughs> oh I'm boy. Trucy. You're Silver Spoon and Diamond Tiara, right? It's really nice to meet you. It's not nice to yeah. meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Well, too, maybe Tracy. nice to meet Silver Did Spoon. You come here to gloat, rub your victory in our faces. Well, we aren't going to give you the satisfaction. Come on, DT. I doubt they're the types to do that. Princess Twilight definitely wouldn't. Okay, Silver, I'm noticing that you are no longer being a douche and you are starting to, you know, become a better pony. So you know what? You're no longer a batch of milk. Dimitriar, however, is still a batch of milk. Hmm. Fine. Actually, we're just here to ask a few questions, if you don't mind. Well, I don't really have a choice here. Daddy will probably make my punishment even worse if I don't cooperate. What about you, Sylvie? It'd be our pleasure. What do you want to know? Oh. What do you know? What is your punishment, Diamond Tiara? his daughter out, but Mr. Rich still seems intent on disciplining his child. Guess he's not the rich snob I imagined he'd be. Yeah, well, spoiled rich, I think or not be spoiled, Mr. Rich. Wait a minute, 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 spoiled rich, spoiled rich. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Isn't it? Ah, 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 I'm so stupid. Not gonna say anything. Not gonna say anything. Yeah. But yeah, Mr. Rich. Love Mr. Rich. Can, let me just, you know, talk a little bit about, uh, no, his name is Filthy Rich. Well, I just completely forgot his first name for a second. But let me talk about Filthy, Filthy Rich for a second. So, in cartoons, you have the the overplayed cartoon trope of the guy, the villain, who's just like, Hey, I only want money. Money, money, money. You know, he, he just wants money. And, you know, and that's his whole character trait is that he wants money and will do anything to get money. And it is so overplayed and it's so boring. And there's so many freaking cartoons doing it. And I'm tired of it. But you have Filthy Rich here, where, like, you have that kind of thing where you're just like, yeah, I'm, 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 my character is based off of money, but, like, 
it's not a, he's still like a nice dude and everything. He's not like a villain or anything. He's just a chill dude who's just doing business. And that's nice. He's just doing his business. He's just doing his job basically, which is nice to see. Also, shout outs to the one to those the the one MLP comics, you know, the official ones. Uh, I think it uh the one that's centered around the Cutie Mark Crusaders. There's one time where like there's like uh, filthy rich is like tearing down like a forest because he wants to i forgot what he wanted to do but see most cartoons would play this like oh he's tearing down the forest he's obviously the villain right here he's the villain but i kind of like how they changed it up and like instead of like him well he was still pretty much the villain you know he had to see the error in his ways but like he was still just a guy doing his job just doing something because he thought it would benefit benefit people he was just a guy he, it was <clears throat> it was good character writing for once he was just a guy he was just doing his thing you know sure what he what he was doing was wrong but it was so cool that it's just not generic so yeah uh, yeah <laughs> I don't know how long I was talking about Fiddly Rich for, but yeah, let's get, let's get back to watching the thing. <laughs> oh, come on! We already had to testify in court! We have to do it again? Yes. That's not what I meant, Diamond Tiara. Uh, I just no. wanted to clarify a few things about it, really. And besides, I'd rather eat nails than slog hey. through any more testimonies from you both. <laughs> That's well, fair. Alright. There really isn't that much to talk about. Nevertheless, I'd like to ask anyway. First of all, was there anything wrong in what we discovered during the trial as to the events of the night of the murder? No, it's exactly as we said. We arrived in the forest around 9.15 and got to the ruins at 9.50, 10 minutes before we said the blackmail negotiations were going to happen. And you already know the rest. Scootaloo and Turning Page showed up, we got into a fight, and that cold threw my tiara in the gorge. And after we got the tiara back, that was when we saw Royal Order's body. And also we saw Zakora coming our way. After that, we ran off, not wanting to get caught. Right. That still matches with everything they said during the trial. Is it true, though? That there were two Royal Orders? Yeah. And that one of them was a clone? And that's what it certainly- You know, why doesn't anybody ever create, like, like, stories? Where, like, you, you, we have Diamond Chiara, you know, after her redemption, where she's actually, you know, like, a functional creature and does not d want to hate everybody that exists in the world besides her best friend? That certainly seems, yes. Why? It's just that cold. He must be very upset right now. He's not that upset. He but he's putting on a brave face. He and is very upset. Well, that was a surprise. I honestly didn't expect Silver Spoon to care about turning page. Silver Spoon is kind of chill now. We're running away? Nope. No one. I don't think so. But then again, my glasses were broken, so it's not like I could have seen a whole lot. <laughs> that must mean neither of them saw Sweetie Belle in the forest. Hmm. Why are you asking us all this anyway? Don't you already know everything that happened that night? We have a good idea of most of the events, yeah? Then why are you bothering asking us again? Uh, because... It's because we need your help. You see... I Sweetie lost Bell's my friend on at a very young age. ...being involved with those very same events. What? She has? But why? Her blood was blood. mixed with the blood found at the Nightmare Moon statue. That proves that she was there that night. But we have no idea what she has to do with Royal Order's death. But we're doing everything we can to try and save her. We know she couldn't have anything to do with it. And that's why we're asking you these questions now, Diamond Tiara. Uh, oh. But you two really don't remember anything else about that night? Anything beyond what you've already told the court? What about the moon? No. You already know everything that happened. There's nothing else we can say. Yo, I'm gonna make a prediction here. What? What the? Hey, hey. No! N 
shut up, please. <clears throat> so back to what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. Um, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a prediction here. I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark. I think the moon is gonna become a very important part of the plot here. Just you wait. That moon is gonna become very important. Pay attention to that ham. Remember that ham. That ham's gonna be very important to the story later. Yeah. See, there's I really that wish ham I could again. Tell you something more to help, Sweetie Belle, but <sighs> it's all right. Thank you for cooperating at any rate. <sighs> if only my stupid glasses hadn't broke, then maybe I would have seen something. Hmm. Actually, Silver Spoon, just how powerful are pa your glasses? Powerful? Powerful? They're definitely pretty powerful. I'm nearsighted in my vision is sometimes close to 2200. 2200? That's crazy! You'd basically be unable to see anything more than a few feet ahead of you. Yeah, I'm pretty much blind without my glasses. That's why it was really important what? I got a new pair as soon as the first one broke. No, is that possible? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is 2200 legally legally blind? Wait, legally blind? Visual less than 2200 is considered legally blind. But to actually fit the definition, the person must not be able to obtain 2200 vision even with prescription eyewear? Many people who would... Oh, wow. So, she's not legally, she's not legally blind, but she's close. It has to be less than 20. Huh. So, no, you're wrong, Silver. You're, you're not blind. You are not blind without your glasses. Case closed. See you all in the next video. <laughs>